Hey folks, Glenn May here with BassResource.com and today I want to talk to you about a subject that comes up often in our uh, forums and that is how do I secure my boat and my fishing gear when I'm at a campground or say parked at a hotel. So there's a lot of different ways to do this, a lot of different answers you can give to this and so I'm not going to go through all the options, I'm just going to walk you through what I do to make sure my boat is safe and secure, starting with the electronics. What I do with my electronics, I actually remove them from the boat. I don't want them to be in sight and to attract attention of hungry eyes, if you know what I'm talking about. So uh, I completely remove them. Now I know there's some mounts that lock securely and will definitely keep your, your electronics in place and no one can tamper with them. Unfortunately, that doesn't prevent people from vandalizing them. For example, cutting the wires, right? So I like to remove the whole thing and just avoid that whole possibility. So I take these off, I have a couple of cheap backpacks that I use that I throw my electronics into and then I take that in my room or in my uh, camper for safe, uh, safe storage. Next, I clear everything off my deck. Everything has to be completely cleared and stowed away. All my rods, my reels, my baits, any pliers that I have, scales, all that stuff. Anything that can be easily lifted and taken, that all goes, it's either stored away in the compartments or I put it in my truck or I take it into the room with me. That way there's nothing that's easy to be lifted. I even take, I've got a stereo on my boat and it's got a face plate. I take that face plate off, I put it in a storage container and then I put it away in the glove box. After I'm done with that, I lock all my storage units. Everything, every storage compartment is locked, including the glove box. Now, I know that's not 100% foolproof. People with a crowbar can break into your boat just as easy if they're prepared. However, um, it's gonna thwart most of the crime of opportunity. People that just happen to be wandering around in the middle of the night looking for something to steal in the campgrounds, you're not gonna be a target. Now, if you want to go a step further, you can get something called a locker bar. I think it's L-O-C-R is how they pronounce it. Uh, it's a big bar that goes across your lids. You can, it helps secure all your lids in place and prevents people from forcibly opening up your rod lockers. I know some pros actually have double rod lockers and cross their lids twice. Uh, pretty safe and secure system. Nothing's foolproof, but it is a better system in case you happen to be in an area that's really prone to crime and activity. I definitely recommend getting one of those. I'm fortunate I don't have some of those issues, so I don't have a locker bar. Now next, I want to show you something that I think you're really going to like. Now, there's a lot of boat alarm systems and boat security systems you can have in your boat. I know a lot of friends of mine actually get car alarm systems installed in their boat, so the latches, when they open up, the alarm will go off, they'll be alerted. Uh, some are pretty sophisticated. The problem with those systems is that they're pretty expensive, and most importantly, pretty expensive to install. My wallet doesn't like expensive things, <laughs> so I found an alternative, a baby monitor. Yeah, yeah, go along with me here for a minute. I was looking on Amazon and I found, I looked up baby monitors and I sorted by the best seller. And I got one of those as my boat alarm system. What that is, you've got a head unit here that goes by your nightstand and then you have a camera that goes in your boat. Now this is a really interesting system. First of all, you can be any distance. So far I've never had any problems with them connecting. You can see there's a screen right here and you can see everything that this camera sees. And check this out. You can control the head unit simply by controlling the buttons. You can just turn, hit the buttons here and you can turn it left, right, up and down, almost a full 360 so you can see a full panoramic of what's going on. Now, I can take this and I put it inside the boat before I put the cover on. It gives me a full, it's, it's, it's an infrared night vision camera and it sees better in the dark than even the human eye can see. It's, it's got amazing clarity. Even when it's pitch black outside, no lights, when I'm sitting in my room, the comfort of my room, I can look on this screen and I can see everything inside the boat just by panning around and looking. It does more than that though. It has audio. I can hear everything that's going on around the boat. It's got a microphone built on, built in on the head unit here. And this microphone is extremely sensitive. It picks up everything. I, I'm not kidding you. I, 
few campsites down, people sitting out there, camp, sitting around the campfire. I can hear what they're saying. I just turn the volume up on this, on, on this, and I can hear every word they're saying. And in fact, you can hear people walking around the gravel, walking around the campground. If you turn the volume up really hard, high, it's actually a, a, a running joke between my wife and I that there's some owls sitting in some nearby trees here and it woke me up one night because they're up there hooting and hollering up in the trees and the camera picked it up and this is next to my nightstand. I could hear everything <laughs> that was going on. Those, those owls woke me up. So it's extremely sensitive and that's how it'll wake you up if someone's messing around with your boat. No one can touch your boat without you knowing about it. The other thing is that um, it's completely wireless Although this uses power, which is fine. I'm plugged in here to my batteries. So I just put a three-way adapter on here. I plug this in and we're good to go. This is obviously wireless uh, and you know, has a battery backup on it, battery power, but I plug it in the nightstand as well. Now you might be thinking, okay, well, people can thwart, thwart that really easily by just unplugging the cord. Not so much. If the connectivity is lost between this and the camera, then it sets off an alarm here. So you know right away if someone messed with it. So it's, it's an amazing system. Oh, oh, one more thing that I really like. You can talk to people from this head unit on the camera. All you gotta do is just push this button and say, hey dude, back away from my boat. It works great, people can hear it. I actually mess with some of my friends sometimes because this voice is coming out from underneath my, my cover on my boat. <laughs> So it's a great way to play practical jokes, but a heck of a lot cheaper than a, an alarm system and it works really well in my opinion. So before I put the cover on, I just take this, I put it between the seats and my boat and now I put the cover on. Now the last thing that I do before I, I walk away from it is the, the cover itself and that is I tie everything down really, really tight so prying hands can't get up underneath the cover and reach for something. The other thing is these loose ends on the, uh, the loose ends on the, on the cover itself. I've got these tag ends. I just tie them to whatever I can. Tie them to different things. The idea here is you want to slow down progress of anybody trying to break in your boat. The more obstacles you put in the way, the more you slow down the efforts, the less likely that it is you're going to become a crime victim. You want to make it difficult for them. So I just tie them up in random places. It's it's fine in the daylight, it actually looks pretty easy to undo, but in, when it's really dark out at night and you're, see, someone who's trying to break into someone's boat, you don't know how their system is and how, what unties what, it becomes kind of a pain and it's not worth the effort if you're trying to get in and out really fast. So just these little things all add up to helping prevent you from becoming a crime victim. Now, with all that said, you can't prevent a determined thief. You can't. There's, there's, they're just going to break in. If they're going to break in, they'll come armed with the right tools and they can do whatever they want. There's nothing that's going to totally prevent that from happening. So you need to ensure you have the right insurance. And guys, listen up. Boat insurance doesn't always cover this stuff, especially your fishing gear. Boat insurance often covers the boat, not the stuff that the thief steals. That sometimes falls under your homeowner's or your renter's insurance. Even if you don't have a house, if you've got an apartment, make sure you have renter's insurance. A lot of times the gear that's not attached to the boat, all the stuff I just mentioned, your fishing rods, your lures, your electronics, that is covered under a different policy. Now that said, there are some boat insurance policies you can get riders on them and, and add the value of whatever fishing gear you have, which I recommend you do that as well. But just make sure you're covered before you become a victim because the worst time you want to find out you're not covered is after the event, right? So. That's how I secure the boat. That's how I take care of everything. I hope those tips help. For more tips and tricks, visit BassResource.com.